Hi, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me in another video. Today I'm going to be checking on my David Austin Golden Celebration rose cuttings that were taken at the end of May this year and seeing if we've got any roots. So here we have my Golden Celebration David Austin rose cutting. Um, this one was taken on the 31st of May this year. Um, there were a few more in this pot. I don't know if you can see the holes still around there. There are about four in this pot. Only one of them survived, but one's better than none. Um, so I'm very happy with that. Um, if we have a look on the underside of the pot, you can see there are roots coming out of a lot of the holes, the drainage holes. So hopefully when we turn this out today, we'll have a decent amount of roots on this one. So Golden Celebration is an absolutely beautiful rose um, bred and introduced by David Austin in 1992. We had this rose on the property when we moved here. I remember the first time seeing it and just thinking it's absolutely amazing. The bloom sizes are huge. I'm not exaggerating when I say they're probably as big as my entire hand. Um, and I've got big hands. So the individual blooms, particularly on the first flush, were ginormous. And the fragrance on this rose is amazing. Um, it's such a fruity smelling rose. It's a tea, tea rose fragrance, um, but so fruity, absolutely delicious. So I thought I'd get some cuttings of this because I'd like to have uh, a few more of these roses throughout the garden. So that's Golden Celebration. I'm going to turn the pot out and we'll see what's going on inside. So as always, I'm using my old David Austin pots because these are perfect for growing on for the next 12 months. This one was the beautiful Olivia Rose Austin who is now planted out in the rose room in the ground and doing very well, I may add. Um, so I've got my large trusted bucket here. This is just an old plant pot. Um, we had a silver birch delivered to the property which went into the ground a few months back and this is actually really good size for mixing my um, soil so all I've got here is a mixture of my garden soil which is medium clay as you can see from the colour and then I've amended that with just some multi-purpose compost at about a ratio of um, three to two um, so that's all ready to go in the pot so I'm just going to put a small amount of that in this pot get it to the right level um, so this golden celebration will sit at the same level. I'm also going to use my mycorrhizal fungi which I use on all of my potted roses. And then I'm going to let this baby grow in this pot and we'll uh, hopefully have a new rose in due course that's blooming and doing amazing. I also use this Westland um, rose fertiliser. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of that in this mixture at the base of the pot so as you can see I've basically filled that pot up so that when this goes in, it'll be at the right level in line with the lip of the pot. Um, and that just makes watering easier in future. And so into the base of that pot, which is probably about three or four inches deep, I'm just going to mix a very small amount of this. So we don't need loads in there. It's only a little rose. I don't want to encourage too much green growth on the top. Um, but I'll give it a little bit in there just to get it started and see it through the rest of this year. So that's the food mixed in there. I'm just going to give a little sprinkling of this um, mycorrhizal fungi just onto the surface where the roots are going to come into contact with the soil and that will just help them to form a relationship with the roots and hopefully help this rose throughout its lifetime. So there we have it. I've turned the rose out. You can see very clearly actually the roots that have come out of the base of that stem. Look at all them roots. This one has had a little bit longer. This one was taken on the 31st of May and it's nearly, I think it's the 19th of August today. So it's had a fair old amount of time to get rooted. But just look at those. We've got some main roots in the center and lots of smaller roots coming off there. All pretty much focused around the base of the pot. That looks amazing. Really nice healthy roots. I think when they come into contact with that mycorrhizal fungi down there, that will be perfect. They're gonna, a lot of these roots are gonna come into contact with that. Um, and I think that's only gonna promote them to do better. And don't forget, they've got about four inches 
that they can grow down into this pot. So I think by the end of this particular season, as we enter into the uh, winter dormancy, we're gonna have some healthy roots in the base of this pot and they'll only continue to fill out throughout the winter. Yeah, I'd say this soil is a little bit on the wetter side for cuttings, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I would normally wring this soil out a bit more than this at the start when I stick the cuttings in there. But we've had one that survived and it's filled out the pot with roots. That just looks so pretty. You just see all those different root networks. So I'll pop this on, I'll pot it up and we'll see what she looks like when I'm done. This is the second cutting that managed to survive. I think I only had two or three in this pot. Um, so it's good to see that one of them still survived and we've got quite a bit of growth coming out of that one. Um, again, taken on the 31st of May. If we look underneath, um, you can see a few roots popping out. Nice healthy root there on that side. So we should have some roots in this pot. We'll turn it out and have a look, see what we've got. So this one's got some roots there, definitely. Not as good as the first one. They were both taken on the same day. Slightly fatter roots on this one, it appears. But we've definitely got roots there. And I'm confident that when I put this in, in the pot below, um, it'll do fine. So we'll pop that in now and we'll uh, have a look what she looks like when we've finished. So that's both of them potted up. I'm just going to give them a quick water and sit them aside and just let them do their thing. Hopefully in the next 12 months these roses will put down a lot more roots into these pots and put on some more top growth so that we've got a rose shrub forming. So that's two completely new Golden Celebration David Austin roses from my one shrub located in the garden already. Just a little note about Golden Celebration. So this rose usually grows to around about four foot in height and four foot in spread. Um, the flowers are extremely large and quite heavy and so they do tend to nod on the end of the stem. So I would recommend growing this rose with support, for example, up an obelisk, or you could use canes to support the rose and you can tie the rose into this structure. And what that'll mean is she will remain upright and the blooms will be in prime position for you to enjoy. If you found this video useful, please feel free to give it a like. And if you want to be notified when I upload more content, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.